I'm Louie and today I'll be showing you some techniques for shooting a portrait in an outdoor location. This is Ben, he'll be my assistant for the shoot today and we'll, and we'll be making the model here at the location. Hi Rachel, how are you? It's great. Uh, this is Ben, he's going to be the assistant for the shoot today. Did you remember to bring along your model release form? That's lovely, thank you. That's great, thanks. A model release form gives you the permission to use the model's images. If your model is under 16, get a parent to sign it for them. Uh, you can find many templates for model release forms online. It's probably bright enough to shoot without a tripod, but this will keep the camera really nice and steady. I'll do some shots without a tripod later on, so it shows a variety of different techniques. I'm checking the light on the model. You don't want it shining too bright in their face or behind their face because there's too much shadow that way. Today I'm using a telephoto lens because it's the most flattering type of lens to use for portrait shots like this. I'm about to take a few test shots as well, but first I'm going to direct my model. Camera. I need to do something about those shadows. One solution is to try some fill-in flash. I'm just going to turn the flash down a bit as it will be too bright and flat otherwise. The sun is casting some shadows so I'll use a reflector. Ben, could you give me a hand with the reflector please? That's lovely, just got to Rachel there. That's great, could you just bend it down a wee bit? That's lovely, just point it more on her face. Just step a wee bit closer for me. That's lovely. Rachel, can I get you looking towards me? That's lovely. Big smile. That's great. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, there's still some shadow under your chin, so can I get you to just bring up that reflector a wee bit for me? That's great. Can I get you to just bring it down a tiny bit so it's not in the shot? That looks great. Now I'm going to experiment with some different poses with our model. Um, I'm also going to experiment with, experiment with the aperture of the camera. Uh, adjusting the aperture allows me to distinguish how much background I want in focus and how much I want out of focus. If you don't have one of these fancy reflectors, it's okay because you could even use like a sheet of white card as a reflector. You could also use a bit of tin foil to provide a reflective surface. If you're looking for a bit of warmer light, you could also use a bit of gold foil. So right, let's move location. Here Rachel, just get you sitting there. Just kind of stand at the trees just now, get in amongst them. That's great. Okay Rachel, if I can just get you to stand over here amongst these branches for me. That's yeah. lovely, yeah, just here. That's lovely. The shade is giving a nice even light, although the skin tones look a bit cool. I'm going to adjust the white balance to shade. Cloudy would work too, but we'll warm up the skin tones. Yep, looking good. Uh, I think I'm going to try and get some more light into this photo. So Ben, could you come in with the reflector, please? That's lovely. Yeah, just kind of just get there. Yeah, just there. That's lovely. So we get a tiny bit closer to her. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. Lovely. All right, Rachel, I'm going to try and get your hands, like, see if you get your hands in behind those two bits behind you, if you could. Yeah, could you, yeah, just like that. That looks good. Get you into the trees. Yeah, just look to me and smile, please. That looks good. That's good, just one more there. And can I get your other arm behind that other tree, that other branch? Yeah, just there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and get that other one. Yeah, just both of your arms there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just there. That's good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that looks good. Ben, could you hold the reflector while we get going? 